hi uh, this is side is in run tutorial part 2 previously i showed run tutorial part 1 please check the link in description in this tutorial player can fire the gun when it's equipped and cannot fire when it's unequipped or jumping so let's start uh, please subscribe my channel for more tutorial like this now we start our work uh, previously uh, we import these bfx uh, just change the lifetime a minimum of, uh, 0 04 and maximum 0 065. Save all now. We go to blueprint. Uh, previously, we created uh, a projectile rifle projectile. Now, we need to add few function here. So, uh, first of all, we add a, a component projectile movement, and this is a projectile initial speed 10,000 and uh, a maximum speed 10,000 also compile and save now we go to uh, project settings set go input we need to add an input uh, name it fire and the button button should be left mouse button save all now we need to create a material right button create a material name it m red or whatever name you prefer open it here it is now press 3 and mouse left button it will create a parameter uh, give it to red color on r add to emissive color add a multiply and press X and create a scalar name it is scale uh, add it to the multiplayer and give the value to 10 may it will make it light and red now save and apply our material is done uh, go to rifle projectile now add few component first of all i will add a spare collision then i will add a cylinder after that i will add a two particle system duplicate it and in the last i will add a sound uh, music audio yes we need to add a audio now i will name this component now spare here is the spare spare should be default root oops undo it and give the value 0.25 make it uh, the root uh, name uh, Uh, rename the particle system p explosion that's p l o s i o n please pardon my spelling and it should be p p muzzle i think p muzzle flash yes and audio should be explosion q Compile and save. Uh, give the cylinder rotation minus ninety. Here is our cylinder. We should uh, down the scale point one. and the z axis should be 1.35 it will look like that and add the uh, red material here compile and save now select the explosion add the explosion we have that explosion you will find it in starter content and disable it auto active and here just add uh, the steam light 2 
which you modify it will work compile and save now we need to add uh, explosion queue add uh, first of all uh, disable the auto active explosion we need to create a queue right button create queue name it explosion queue open it uh, add the explosion to sound just drag and drop now add a function called random it will randomly play sound choosing this two save save all now we need to add few function in event graph delete all this now add event hit we will add only this function now get uh, space should be block all and uh, cylinder should be no collision Now create a p explosion and explosion q. We need those two variable. P explosion and explosion q. Now add set active. It should be active teeth and add it. Make it little organized. Now on explosion q play. edit also add a delay it should be 0 0.05 now destroy the actor we are done here compile and save now we go to our side is color character here is our character is also go to viewport now we, we need to add two function here also one should be spare collision another should be scene component uh, name the scene component projectile position or whatever you prefer now the spare collision radius should be 6 and the location uh, should be 93 and y axis 8 and the z axis 39 39 I copy the location I paste it on the uh, projectile position now we need to create two variable first is is in air and second is uh, a gun offset the second uh, uh, variable should be vector and the value should be 10 uh, 20 on h axis compile and save now we need to create two custom event the first one should be a check the jump we need to check our jump in means when our uh, character is jumping we cannot fire now get the mesh and get any instance now cast over side is polar animation blueprint make it organize little behind cast to side side is polar animation blueprint edit set the air, air is in air from character and get the is in air from the animation blueprint it will check uh, we are in jump in position or not now add it with event it check air check jump now we need to add a action mapping which we created earlier fire 
place it here now add a branch add it in here there is the rifle uh, add another branch now is in here and if there is false I place on 2d I need to add a, a fire gun sound tut tut and add a spawn actor from class that too should be rifle bullet projectile now create uh, a spare uh, projectile position and run offset we need to add function with this from projectile position create world uh, rotation and from run offset uh, rotate rotate vector add it with rotate vector and from sphere create world location and make transform add and make transform add the rotation and add it with the add transform now make it little organize seal it all and straight make it straight and little closer now make it also straight and give the run offset here in between make it upper make it upper Uh, make it straight make it straight compile and save uh, save all uh, now if we play uh, we can see uh, that uh, here is our character yes, uh, getting the gun we can fire there is a muzzle flash and if it hit it will show the explosion we cannot fire now we can fire now pressing E we are jumping we are not firing now so that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, I hope it will help people. Bye bye.